What's up, everybody? Uh, what's up, YouTubers and Facebook and whoever else? Um, working on a 2005 Infiniti G35 Coupe. Some of y'all didn't know about the bezels and the headlights. I look on, I look on YouTube. I ain't seen that about Infiniti Coupes, but that year make a model from 03, I think, all the way to 07. Um, they have like the uh, H HID lights. So if you could tell, this is my original one. It's cracked and the clear coat that was on to protect the lens, the heat and all that rain residues and all that fade, fade away my lens. So I had a front end collision in December. Um, so they was like, man, your car is totaled, totaled out. It wasn't totaled, it just had a lot, a lot of miles on it. I know how to fix it, all right? So what I'm doing now is um, bought me some new lens so I went and got me some new HID uh, lens. And what I'm finna do is um, take the HID hardware, this box right here, this computer, to make this light function, off on, bright, damn, low beam, high beam. Take this off and put it on the new one that I have in this box. Um, AutoZone sell these $50 per lens, and you need two for your, for your car. So what I did is I'm using my old ones. You know, you take the old stuff out, gut it, put in the new stuff. Because when you buy new lenses, these this not going to come come with it. The dealership might sell you this for $150. Amazon got it for 50 Advance might even have, have, um, have this box. If they sell it, it might be $100. But I found it on Amazon for $49 each. But mine's still working. Mine's still functioning. And I hadn't had no problem with it. So I'm taking this out for to show you how to take the HID harness out and put on the new one. So, and show you the different function. So this this the lens, all right? And the way you take it out, you never think four, four bolts or two. You got one right here, one right here, and one right here, all right? So, and then when you turn, you turn around, you got a cap. So to show you, you twist this off. This is what your light is going to be in. So, and then what you do, this is the part I'm going to take off. This, this harness. All right. So, what I'm going to do, unclip, and your headlight is inside this bezel. All right. So, all you got to do is push that clip in and up, in and around, and then your headlight will come, come out. So, this is my, uh, um, HID headlight. This headlight is what I'm gonna put in the new lens, but I'm not, I don't want to use this one. So I ordered me some newer ones, some brighter ones. That's so bright it's blue. So it's like this might be a four thousand K. I ordered eight thousand K with a light blue tip. So to put this back in now, you gotta look at the uh, this notch. So it, it had if you can see right here. That little notch right there is going to go right here with that little notch at. So, I'm going to slide that back in now. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. All right. All right, look like it's... There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is put that back in that little notch I show you. Then put the clip back on now. And now I put that clip that you see. See the little clip? It's two, two clips that hold a light in. So and then I'm, then I'm putting this in. All right. So this is the old. Now I'm finna pull out the new one. Alright? This is my new one. Nice, ain't it? Got all the new efficient dark tint that I wanted with HD lights, headlights, the low beams. And you can tell the difference with this one and the new one. Look like some out of space type of stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. 
So this one come with the wire and stuff like this, the wire harness, but it don't come out, it don't come with that harness. So you can't make this operate without having that harness on it. So what I'm finna, finna do is twist this cap off like I did. And I'm finna get it ready to run the uh I'm finna get it get ready to run everything else that's supposed to be inside that all uh, hardware. So this this the horn. Alright. So all you need is some fill fill ahead, take off these three bolts. But actually I'm finna clip this off. Alright. So I'm finna take this off. Take this on. That's one bolt. That's two. And then three. So if you ever have a light failure and your lights is not working, it's not coming on at all, it's not your light bulb, it could be this little box right here that went, went out. And then you pop it, pop it out. Now, this silver component is in the in the way. All right. So So, to show show you something. So this silver component right here, I'm not going to take a loose cuz it's wiring and everything. But you turn around this part, I'm finna take this nut off, pop this clip, and slide this whole thing in and back out that way. And I'm gonna run a new one from, from this end back out to this. Okay? So, you see it right here? I'll screw that nut. All right, a little nut come out. Pop that clip off. And then push this in. And sometimes it, it don't want to go. So I put a little pressure right there. Pull, pull this little clip out. Now what I'm gonna do now, Let's run it. Pop this clip out. And I'm gonna run it. All the way out. In. See how this is? This one's the right lens, so it's, it got a little clip on it. I might have to take this clip off and put in the new one too. All right, because the right hand lens have more wire and then it do for the driver side. All right, so this is my new one. And, and I am gonna need that bolt to, to run the new one in. All right, so take it, take it again. Take it in again, run it between here. So I got I gotta twist this cup off. So I can run it with with my hands. Get this? Run it. Make me look bad on YouTube. Oh, 
don't make, don't make me look bad. All right, run it. I'm running, I'm running the wire in. So I had to open this cap so I can run my finger and grab it from that end. Bam. Then I'm going to close this cap up. Twist it. So now I got my heart, my hardware running. Now you're going to see this harness. This, uh, I call it like the computer brain for the light. I'm going to clip it. Back in here, you should hit click. All right. Then I'm gonna run this bolt back here. Clip, clip this safety bolt on here. I call it a safe safety bolt because anytime the light get hit, this bolt keep it in contact so you don't break your wire. All right. Alright, it don't look like it's lined all the way up yet. Now, run that again. Bam. So, remember, one, two, three, one, two, three. Light, light them up and it should pop right on now. So the new one, it came with a filler head and a clip. So I guess this clip is like a protection so the plastic piece won't break off. Um, with myself, I take the clip off because I really don't need no clip on it. I just make sure that these right here is flush on here good. All right, I reuse the same three bolts that come on it. And then I right it tight, left it loosey. Make sure it flush all the way. Bam. So the membrane. I use the wire, plug this into here. Lift to a click. All right, so it's locked. So that's how you do the a the HID light, okay? Anything you see that this don't have on, so the newer lenses ain't gonna come with this, this brain. So it's best to take it out your old one, you reuse it and put on this one. That save you a hundred dollars right there or Depending when you get that, one hundred and fifty to two two hundred dollars for a set. And all that I have to do now is put this back on the hard lens. And what else I gotta I gotta do? And that pretty much is gonna be it. Um, yeah, I pretty much show you how to wire. It. The car plug is going to go here. You plug this into the car. This cap will go back onto the headlight. So I'm not going to I'm not going to put this in. I'll show you another video there how to chain the bulb out. And bam. I'm done. All right. Peace out. Beezing.